What's up, everybody? How you doing? This is Max Boogie from Wall Street. Hey, man, this is going to be my Madden 16 wish list. Because during the time I'm recording this, I've just recently played that Mutt Gauntlet with 33 games on all Madden, all pro and pro and rookie. And that really, like, opened my eyes to see how unrealistic the defense actually plays out to be, like. The offense is, I'll, I'll go over the offense in the next video. I might have this like a, a series or something like that. But the main points that I see like very unrealistic about the defense is it's, it's the D-line. The D-line, how you engage in blocks. The way the linebackers come up to, to stop runs. The coverage is, is fine with me because I'm not really a, a, a pass-heavy type of person. I like running the ball. And I, I don't really know this stuff about the coverages unless there's something glitchy. And oh, also, swatting the ball, it, I don't know if that even works. I don't know if anybody goes to swat the ball. I don't know. I don't go to swat the ball. But it seems like there's no reward for it. If you do try to swat the ball, then you just swat and they get another down. They can throw it right back up. And they end up just mossing you just because they, they wide receiver like 6'6". Six, six. But that's why I'm saying it's like iffy iffy with the coverage. Like it's either fifty fifty you you might you might beat the coverage or it's fifty that you won't beat it. But that's that's offense, man. But the number one thing that I do not like about the defense in Madden fifteen is the D line. And when you engage in a block, you gotta wait for the button to press. And it's either gonna be A or X. You can see this nice play right here, bro. That's how y'all play linebacker. That's how you gotta play it. I'll go over that later, but the D line in this game, um, you gotta press A, press X, wait for it to pop up, see if it works after you pressed it. Some of the time it doesn't even work, so after all that time you just wasted for it to pop up to get off of the block. You have to press it again to see if it works. And then you gotta worry about if the player you're using is even good at that move. If you press I think X I'm not sure if you, if X is the power move or is A is the power move, but um, they, either or, if you know what it is, you have to worry. You have to worry about if your player is good at it. Some players have 90 something power moves with like 60 finesse, and they give you a finesse move to try out. I'm like, hey, I played the the NCAA Road to Glory, NCAA 14 Road to Glory with a defensive end, and that was back when the it wasn't that long ago but it was back when the, the defensive line you just used the right stick to determine what move you was going to do and you didn't have to wait to do it you could do it as soon as you made contact and one of the power moves i did it a lot i, I was punching people knocking them over and it was it was good you know what i'm saying it didn't work all the time but if you do was that strong then it did work most of the time but yeah, that's how it really was you move it forward or towards the blocker to get a power move or move it back or away from the blocker to get a finesse move and it worked for me it was a great way to do it i like the little the little uh jump the snap thing that you could try to do it doesn't change anything i don't think it changed the way if, if it changed the success of the button you press it was really like what like what is that like i don't like that whole idea i hope they they i guess the only way to fix that, in my opinion, is just go back to the to what was being done before. But I doubt that will happen. They will probably try to change it up where you can, I don't know. I don't know what they would try to do. That's my only thing to say about that. They got to just go back to how it was before because that way worked better for, I know it worked better for me in NCAA. I don't know if anybody else feels that way, but, but that is just how it is. I do not like that button mashing. It, you just, it doesn't make any sense to me at all Because you have to wait to get off of the block You know what I'm saying You can't It's, it's just It's just no You know what I'm saying That's the number one thing that got to change From Madden 16 Now the next thing Is the linebackers Is it, The next thing is how to stop runs In this game Because the linebackers The way I was taught in high school Was to think about Run first as a linebacker and if, if high school and the NFL are that different where the linebackers think about different things at first then I guess I shouldn't be playing you know what I'm saying I guess the NFL is is, is totally different you feel me it's like 
he's in high school, you take the read step first, the read step, you take a couple, two steps forward, jab step forward, boom, boom. See if it's a run, okay, no, it's not a run, boom, then you're going. It's quick. In Madden, that does not happen. If it's a run and you're in cover three, your linebackers will sit there and you'll wait to get blocked. And that's where holes is, that's where, that's probably why all the run plays, they work so well because the, the offensive linemen get to the linebackers and when they're the linebackers are like five yards back. So they have, now since they're five yards back and the running back already has the ball, they're on the block. They have to wait to get off of the block because the, the uh, you got to wait for the button to get pressed. <laughs> but if, it, if it's the computer, they get off the blocks much, much quicker than the user actually does. But you have to wait to, for them to get off the block. And now the running backs pass them and into the secondary already. And that's just not how it's supposed to happen. If I can understand if the linebacker is doesn't have that great of awareness or something like that, where he just doesn't know, you know, play recognition. Maybe they can actually use that as a as a rating, because it does really matter. As I get this nice interception here on fourth down, and you know we're gonna be out with this one because this is Quincy Blunt interception pick six. But back to what I was saying, they actually put ratings to work. Like, as in pass recognition and, 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 you know, speed and pass recognition and awareness. If I have Patrick Willis and I'm in cover three, I would want him, if the offense runs a power play, I would want him to come and fill the hole that the pulling guard just did. Like, if, he, if the guard pulls when the play starts, Patrick Willis, I believe he should already know that it is a run play. I think the computer should know it before I do. And I don't have to come up with a safety every time just to stop and run play. It's really, it's really weird because if you ever notice, people who stop runs they come up with the safety because everybody else gets blocked. The safety is the last guy that the running back has, they, that the running back has to get past, and they have to bring the safety up to the line of scrimmage, use the safety near the line of scrimmage to stop run plays, which is really weird because. If the D-line, the, the D-line's job is basically, they're, they, they're allowed to get off a of block. They're allowed to make tackles. But the job is to not let the offensive linemen get to the linebackers. The linebackers' job is to, if they see an offensive lineman coming at them, the, the uh, linebackers should come up and meet that offensive lineman. Which, in turn, you know what I'm saying, it, it, it reduces gap. You can see on this play, it's third down and three. The linebackers backed up, huge hole, and, and, and the, the offense just goes. You know what I'm saying? That linebacker actually came down, but the angles that they all took, I was going on them. They can't catch them, I guess. But um, it's real great. I do it a lot in these videos with Quincy Blunt. I come up. It's like reading the key. Like the guard is my key, which is why I wanted to play earlier today. Well, um, that sales gonna explain it all. I came up and I'm looking at the guard. The play starts. I see the guard start to move back. That's why I, I think it's a pass. But then he turns his shoulder, so I know it's a run. And I zoom in there. I get Adrian Peterson in the backfield. Um, that's how it's supposed to be played, like every time. You know what I'm saying? And that's me controlling Quincy Blunt and that one person to stop the run play. From the linebacker position, the only way I know to uh, to actually do that with the computer is to put that linebacker on a QB contain, um, which is very. Who would have guessed? You know what I'm saying? I guess the, the the blitz doesn't work all the time, but the QB contain will always have the linebacker run up to the line of scrimmage on a run play or a pass play. Um, it's very like what. Like, why does the QB contain work? I have no idea. But that's how you do it. That's how you stop the run game. And it's very, like, weird. Like, that is unrealistic to have a linebacker just sit there and wait. Uh, make the ratings go to use. You know what I'm saying? I would love to see ratings actually mean something. Because the only ones that mean something right now are speed, acceleration, and I guess juke for running backs. And for defense, the speed, acceleration, and hit power. Because you can drop any type of interception. It doesn't matter if you got 99 catching on defense. If you shouldn't catch that pick, the game feels... If they don't want you to catch the pick, you're not going to catch it. You know what I'm saying? You can drop anything. Wide open. You can drop stuff that is just no receiver around. You know what I'm saying? It's only speed, acceleration, hit power. Play recognition is very weird. Play recognition for all Madden computer is terrible. 
they, they, I'm gonna explain to you this one play. This one play, I'm on the last challenge. It's 50,000 coins. I do the play, boom. I guess I did it too many times. You know, I only ran the play five times the whole game. We in the third quarter. I run the ball again. Everybody on the D-line does the uh, a synchronized swim move on all of my linemen. And the linebackers come up, hit me. I fumble, they pick it up, take it back for six. Now, in that play, it was all Madden cheating with the, the the play recognition, I guess, that nobody else has because these players are like 99 overall, 100 overall, stuff like that. It, it's all just so unrealistic, you know what I'm saying? The hit power came in. To, it was a D lineman who picked it up. He was a legend, had like 90-something speed, I guess. Nobody was able to catch him. Um, that's basically the things I do not like about the defense in Madden 15. I hope they can change the D-line system back to what it was before this press the A button and whatever that is. The jump, you can't even jump the ball. You can press RT when the play starts and that'll just give you a little bit more success rate. So if you do press the button, then then you do get off the block. It does, does not work, man. It's not working for me. Um, The way the linebackers play the run, this is not working for me. The way the coverage is, is all right. I haven't seen like any major things that, that sparked my attention like oh he shouldn't be doing this you know what I'm saying but tell me what you guys think man because this video is coming to an end so always remember in the street we trust I'm out